Hey guys, what's up? This is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a fresh WordPress installation on your LEMP server. That's LEMP, L-E-M-P, Linux, Nginx, MySQL, PHP. Now, for me, I am doing this on a DigitalOcean droplet, um, but you might be doing this on, you know, a LEMP server on a server at your house or a different hosting provider, that's okay. The concept still applies regardless of whatever server you're using. So basically the steps to do this is to download WordPress onto our server, set up a, uh, a MySQL database, connect that database to our WordPress installation, and then tell Apache that we have a new website for it to serve. So uh, basically four or five steps there and um, yeah without any further ado let's hop on into the tutorial so like I said I'm using DigitalOcean my LEMP server as you can see here is at this IP address so what I'm going to do is log into that via SSH so it's going to be for me SSH root at this IP address for you guys just log into your LEMP server and then we'll be at the same spot okay so we're into our LEMP server here like I said the first thing I'm going to do is to download WordPress. So uh, by default, most of the time, the public HTML directory is at var www.html. And you can see that index.html page here, which if you go into a web browser and view that, it's just this basic landing page. We'll change that, don't worry. So we're in the HTML directory here. Let's get WordPress with wget. And it's located at https colon slash slash word press.org/latest.tar.gz so that just pulled that down onto our server and there you can see it latest.tar.gz the next thing you want to do is to extract that so we can do that with tar-xzbf latest.tar.gz and that's going to create a subdirectory under here called wordpress so let's go into that directory and there is all your basic WordPress PHP files, configuration files, and subdirectories. Um, the next thing we want to do is to set up that database that I was talking about. Because WordPress needs a database to run off of to store all the pages, to store all the images. So we can do that with MySQL. And um, for me, I'm just going to type in MySQL here. And because I'm root, I don't have to type in a username or a password for you. You might have to type in a username or a password. Um, but that's okay. Like I said, the same concept applies, just a little bit different for you. So um, we're in here. We can see that with the MySQL prefix. And what we first want to do is to create a database. So that's really easy to do. We just have to type create database and the name of your database. So for me, just to keep it simple, I'm going to call my database database name and uh, continue typing default character set utf8 and then collate utf8 underscore unicode underscore ci so let me just read through this quick to make sure we didn't screw anything up so create database the name of the database is database name the default character set is utf8 and then we have this collate uh, utf underscore unicode underscore ci hit enter there we go uh, the next thing we want to do is to create a user for this database, and we can do that with grant on, or I'm sorry, grant all on database underscore name. So the name of your database dot star, meaning all tables for your database to database user. So this is a username for your database. You can choose whatever you want. It doesn't have to be database user at local host so because our database is going to run on the same server as our website we're going to use local host here this could be an ip address this could be a domain name but keep it simple we're going to use local host identified by um, user password so this is the password my my password is user password you can pick I actually encourage you to pick a more secure password than that, but just again, like for this, for the sake of demonstration, I'm gonna keep it simple with that. So go ahead and click on, or not click, hit enter. That looks like it was successful. And the last thing I wanna do in here is to flush 
privileges. Enter. Okay. And that is good. Um, everything looks good in here. So we can exit out of the MySQL interface. And now the next thing you want to do is to pretty much connect uh, MySQL to WordPress or I guess vice versa, connect WordPress to MySQL. So in order to do that, there is a configuration file in this directory, this WordPress directory. And um, by default, they have this WP config sample. Yeah. So we want to make a copy of that and just name it to WP config.php. And we'll edit the WP config .php file. Um, and I'm using Vim to edit, which is uh, just the text editor for Linux. You could use something else like gedit or uh, what else did they have? Um, Emacs. Doesn't really matter what editor you use, uh, but you just got to come in here and change a couple things. So under this MySQL settings block here, let's change the database name to um, whoops, to the actual database name. For me, it is database name, database name. Yep. And the user is database user, database underscore user. The password is user password. Uh, like I said, the local host is the local host and the, the character set is UTF-8. Now down here, um, under this, this what do they call it? The unique keys and salts. You'll see this whole bunch of these many lines of put your unique phrase here, put your unique phrase here. Let's get rid of all that and put our unique phrase here. So in order to do that, we just copy this URL here and all the way up to salt and paste it in a web browser. And that's going to generate us um, some some unique character strings uh, and you can see like if you refresh the page you get a different value different value and that just um, allows your website to uh, it, it kind of protects your website we'll just we'll just keep it simple like that so um, go ahead and paste those values in here and save your configuration file so now we have our WordPress website connected to our MySQL database, but still, if we go to our web browser and go to this IP address, we don't see our WordPress website yet. That's because we have to tell Nginx that we have um, kind of set up this new website. Nginx doesn't know that yet. So let's do that next. And this is one of the last steps. So let's go to CD um, ETC a little bit of a lag here, etc, nginx. And in here you'll see a sites available directory. And um, by default, you'll have uh, you'll have a default one in a DigitalOcean configuration file in here. Let me just see which one, because I'm not actually sure which one we should be editing. So yeah, let's try, let's try with the, uh, actually I think it's probably more likely gonna be the DigitalOcean one. Regardless, this is probably going to, unless you're on DigitalOcean, this is going to be different for you. Um, you'll have to either create a new configuration file here or edit an existing one. So we're going to edit the DigitalOcean one, DI DigitalOcean. And um, down here, uh, you see here the, the root of the website currently is slash var slash www slash html but if you remember we added that subdirectory where our wordpress website lives and that was in the, uh, the slash wordpress directory so you can just tack that on here so wordpress and um, let's just do a quick look through here let's see if we have any other instances that we have to tack that on and i don't see any so let's let's go ahead and test this out. See if we pick the right configuration file. So let's restart the nginx server because again, even though we made that change, we don't see any changes reflected. So we can restart the nginx server with system ctl restart nginx. And if we didn't screw anything up, it should come back without any errors. That looks good. Let's refresh the page. And bam, we got our uh, WordPress installation screen, which is really, really good news. So 
uh, let's let's fill out the information and continue on with the tutorial. So site title, I'm gonna call it lemp site, username, admin, password, pass. Highly recommend that you do some more secure credentials than I'm doing. And my email, Tony at TonyTeaches.tech. Feel free to email me with any questions about this tutorial or any other questions you have about WordPress or server administration and go ahead and click on install WordPress. So that looks good. Uh, let's log in. So our username is admin, our password is pass. Can you remember me? Log in and drum roll. Here we go. We got our WordPress admin dashboard. In here you can obviously create your posts, your pages, install plugins, change your theme. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, we have accomplished what we set out to accomplish. We have our WordPress website, which we just freshly installed onto our LEMP server, our Linux, Nginx, MySQL, PHP server. So um, a couple steps there. Um, I hope that all made sense to you guys. If it did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, as far as help or you know helping you guys out with installing WordPress, um, server administration, even like stuff like SEO, I'm specializing in got videos plenty of videos on all these topics for you guys so uh, like I said definitely consider subscribing to this channel for more videos like this and if you do do that I will see you in the next video